Before we begin, make sure you're using the latest version of Trust Wallet. That way, you have access to the newest features and the latest security updates. Now, backing up your wallet is really easy and also extremely important. This is what keeps your funds safe in the event that you lose access to your device or have another unforeseen event. You always want to be able to access your funds uh, in those cases. So the first step into backing up your wallet is selecting the wallet selector. Now that's at the top where it says Web3 wallet. That's what I've named the wallet. You go ahead and select that. And as you can see, I have a couple of wallets here. The new one I just created is the Web3 wallet. And you can see that the two options I have right now are to back up manually and to back up to iCloud. Now I'll go ahead and choose the manual option. This is the one with the secret phrase. So from here, I'll go ahead and read the information just to make sure that I'm clear as to what's happening. So Trust Wallet does not have access to this key and to save it in a secure format. I'll go ahead and select those and then select continue. From here, I'm given my secret phrase. As you can see here, it's uh, blanked out for uh, informational purposes, but on your wallet, you'll see a 12 word secret phrase. From here, you go ahead and write that down and then select continue. From here, I'll have to confirm what each of the words is. So I'll refer to my written down notes. Go ahead and select what each of those are. And that's just about it. Now, as you can see, the manual option is now active. Again, make sure to store the secret phrase in a very secure place. But you can also see on my screen that I have an iCloud option and it gives me an option to backup now. So I'll go ahead and show you how that works. So let's select backup now. I have to give the wallet a name. I'll just stick with Web3 wallet, select continue and then choose a password. So I'll create a password now. And then I go ahead and select set encryption password once I've written that down. And then I'll need to confirm the password here. And then I also need to go ahead and confirm the information there as well. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, both of those options are active and my wallet is securely backed up. Go ahead and select save. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.